Ladies and gentlemen, the call to spread glorious democracy has rung out across the galaxy, and I have answered. Howl Divers 2 needs absolutely no introduction for the explosive impact it has made. Why? Well... Anyway, this is the story of how a ragtag group of idiots, with myself at the forefront, took on the supreme might of the automatons and walk away heads held high, magazines empty, completing a hellish campaign. On difficulty level... Oh, YouTube isn't gonna like that one. It all started on a Thursday evening at around 7.23pm when I convinced my fellow Helldivers with a masterful call to battle. Do you guys wanna play some Helldivers? And like that, the team assembled on the Super Destroyer known as the Dawn of War, ready to plummet into the warring chaos on the surface below. Our squad leader, Player Craig, selected a campaign on sewer <laughs> difficulty, and with high spirits, we headed for our drop pods. The new evac mission had recently released, and as oh, you can tell, yes, these ones. I was eager to get in there and start wrecking hell. Loading up on more and heavy weaponry, we commenced Hell Dive. To immediately land on and destroy one of the objectives we mm. were supposed to protect. I don't know if we were supposed to not destroy that, but... It's just it, this we have to protect. Know. It's fine. Our objective is to evacuate high-value targets and enact a last stand, while waves upon waves of the wretched automatons wage war against our defenses. But we were ready. Expecting the worst, we set to work preparing our defenses. Dual mortar emplacements went up, one to slow, the other to turn them into Sonic the Hedgehog Rule 34 images, aka blow them up. Patriot mechs were dropped in safe location so they were ready and waiting. And I made a daring dash to the toilet in the nick of time. Not before long, the first of many dropships made its way into my view. And with the full might of our superior weaponry, it plummeted towards the ground. With the remaining troops being picked off by heavy mortar fire, all was going well. Seems I got the quieter side of the base, so I call in reinforcements and continue to enjoy my slice of heaven. Uh, is that a tank? This is so much easier with four people. Oh yeah, way easier. Little did anyone know, I was actually talking about taking on your mother. Rocket number three leaves with no issue whatsoever, and I add another ship to my kill tally. A few things were going through my mind at this point. The biggest one happened to be a rocket. Oh my god! Not long after, Radical also succumbed to overwhelming enemy <laughs> firepower. Oh god. How the f*** are you guys dying so quick? He had a whole crowd on top of him. What he didn't know is that my mortars were responsible for his demise. Remember, friendly fire is okay if they didn't know it was friendly fire. With enemy forces moving in greater volume, it was time to bring in the big guns. Rocket number 6 launches with no issue, and our laser focus team keeps up their own assault upon the mechanical scum so determined to prevent us from spreading the good word of democracy across this wasted hellhole. And we also happen to make a new discovery. You could've just swapped to the next one. Oh, the quasar? I think you can. Oh, you can. Yeah. Oh, dude! A fucking genius fucking idea. 100% holy shit. Making the discovery we can swap between quasar cannons and avoid the cooldown period results in even more freedom being distributed. With just over 7 minutes remaining, the fight goes strong. Freedom never sleep! Shortly after, we receive confirmation Yay! we have extracted all personnel and our extraction is on the way. With a swift farewell and absolutely no friendly fire deaths at yeah, all, we to head to see, our next uh, mission. see people bitching about this type of mission on Reddit. And I was like, it's not that hard. If you're doing it solo, I can understand it would be quite difficult, but the more people you have, the yeah, easier it actually is. Yeah, that's saying like even with full man teams, and I was like, what do you guys take? Like, this is full defensive, you know? Just like, you do that, it becomes a breeze. In typical fashion, Reddit is wrong as always, and we move on to our next mission. This time the sun came out to play and we had time to safely call in our gear without fear of reprisal from the local wildlife. At least we did, until we kicked the hive and suddenly the pressure was on. After masterfully inputting an orbital sequence that I totally didn't screw up multiple times in a row, and dropping the hammer on a base nearby, we set towards our objective, retrieving several hard drives and uploading their contents that the Ministry of Truth insists is a danger to our minds and mustn't be seen. Naturally we're not to question the orders of Super Earth or our swell. And we set to work collecting the first hard drive while the others secure a Samsung. Side, which means dropships need to start filling out their resume because they're all about to get fired. With a Patriot delivered and the rest of the squad converging on the second objective, I make my way across the wide open expanse to recoup with the squad. But then, we see the real oh horror. Oh god. Oh, oh my god, funny. everything. If you guys have got fucking orbitals or anything, drop them now. The 
battle intensifies as we near the final objective. All we need to do is deposit the two hard drives our brave soldiers have carried across the blasted wasteland in the ready and awaiting hole that's needing to be filled with a large and girthy. Sorry, got a little carried away there. The uploads commence, a Hulk dies, Craig gives me the wrong directions. Uh, needs to turn, I think, left. It was right, it was right, it was right. I change an automaton's pronouns to was, were, and we complete the main objective. With 28 minutes on the clock before our destroyers leave us behind because Super Earth definitely cares for our existence and we're not a cog in the wheel for an authoritarian government. I said we're not, don't look at me like that. We make the decision to clear out the remainder of the map from the mechanical scum. Despite their best efforts with berserkers and hulks attempting to cut off our path, none managed to succeed. For God's sake, this dude with a fucking rocket launcher, go away! Although that guy did greatly succeed at pissing me off. A cheeky 500kg out, and the base is ours. But, little did we know, this was where the tide began to turn. Oh shit, that's a whole lot of those dudes! Oh, retreat! Now, one may see this as a cowardly act of treason, running from the enemy forces and hiding behind a rock. But for those, I have but one thing to say. My life is more valuable than yours. The automaton attacks begin to worsen, with dropships seemingly unaffected by the SAM site we captured from earlier, and more and more heavily armoured enemies begin to pour in. With a moment to breathe, I call my second Why Patriot so mech many? and proceed to liberate the ground beneath us, relieving some of the pressure before there more hulks and tanks hulk? begin to show up. Time is ticking and we have yet to leave the vicinity of the base we destroyed moments earlier, and each second we're pinned down fighting costs us more and more reinforcements. Finally, the attacks cease, and while I'm out of rockets, I have plenty of bullets left in the minigun. And it's time to push before we are once again consumed by the mechanical scourge, and we head to the south. But not before an annihilator tank decides he likes my insides more than I do. However, I do get the pleasure of seeing a hell bomb in action. I'm about to die because I threw a hell bomb on top of myself. So die at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, bitches! As our reinforcements near empty, in desperation, I launch an Eagle 500 towards an oncoming Hulk. With the rogue research station down, Two more objectives await, one being the orbital jammer to the southwest, and the other a mortar station to the north. With a brutal rush and a worthy sacrifice, we disable the jammer, call in an armor hell bomb, and push for the last side objective. Our last reinforcement ticks over, and we are on our last legs. A mission that started so well looked to be in complete disarray. We began to wonder if extraction was even possible. We couldn't know for sure, but the only thing we knew for certain, these guys oh, can go on. suck a dick. Lucky for us, Katie had been hard at work destroying a base despite it costing her life, and all that remained was one small base and the mortars that fired upon us from earlier. Despite my efforts with the expendable launcher, all I succeeded in was getting pounded like Sasha Gray, and Craig takes the fight to them. Got it. Nice, there we go. Oh, to get in there to do it. With the timer nearing zero and our destroyers leaving us without backup, we head to the extraction and begin the countdown. 1 minute 30 seconds is all we need to withstand, and as I drop a 120mm barrage in the direction of our foes, I come up with a brilliant plan. Hold up, uh, I'm gonna, just in case, I'm dropping my sample, someone come grab him. I wanna get that last base, cause it's... I wait for the moment that I need, then I put the plan into action. With precision point accuracy, the bomb hits and I take out the last base. As I arrive yes, back, yes. I discover Radical and Craig exploring the physical so and theoretical cool. limits of science, which provides quite the show. Hey, what have you done? There are two of them! Oh. <laughs> Sick. Oh my god, that's, that's so many barrels. Finally, the shuttle arrives. And now for the most anxiety-inducing thing you will see all day. Two, one, Whoa. zero. You didn't make it. Oh, did I not make it? No! I think? Did you? I can't tell. I don't know. I didn't see you on the pad, so you may have made it? Uh, he I was right there. I was just on the ramp. So, we'll see. Literally just about to get up. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you did. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Despite my not paying attention, we extract successfully with all the objectives completed. Our third and final mission is to launch an ICBM missile in the name of freedom and bring destruction to our enemies. That or cause them to replicate more. Side effects are still uncertain at this point and the Ministry of Truth maintains there is nothing to be feared. So with a potential nuclear disaster upon us, and also one in the game, I grab a shield generator and we launch into our last mission. Upon landing we discover a gunship factory not far from our location, knowing how much trouble it will give us I... Calling in reinforcements! 
Knowing how much trouble it will give us, I... Oh. <sighs> nice work, guys. Now, as I was saying, knowing how much... Oh, look at that, an illegal broadcast. <laughs> as I was saying, knowing... Oh, fuck off. I just give up. Katie gets the codes. Craig and Radical take out the factory. And we pivot north towards the second sub-objective, running into a tank that showcases why the shield generator is great in a pinch. Amazon sees to the perfect delivery of my Patriot mech, and I evolve from a small pain in the automaton side to a bad dragon and become a giant pain in the ass. A game much like a venereal disease you picked up while out on the town last Saturday night, the jammer resurfaces once again and still as irritating as the first time. However, this time I'm prepared, and the Patriot allows me to walk and scathe right up to it. However, a laser turret follows in no fun allowed rule and I'm reduced to a smoking pile of failure. Craig sees to the destruction of the jammer, however he is taken out before the bomb is armed. So I run over to arm it and didn't realize the jammer was disabled so technically I wasted all this time when I could have reinforced him on his own corpse. Uh, oops. Oh well, my samples now. But Karma is a cruel mistress and makes sure that a Hulk no! delivers mine. No! 26 minutes to go and we're doing okay on time. One sub-objective to go, most of the base is cleared and the fourth side objective is about to be completed. Nothing can go wrong now. See, nothing to worry about. You thought I was doing a bit, didn't you? My camera's broken. Uh, I'm stuck permanently in first person. Setting eyes on the last sub-objective, we're met with heavy resistance which includes multiple hulks, devastators, and even a good old tank. But the unadulterated power of our combined forces and democratic swaying power is too much for these feeble beings to comprehend. And we lay waste to those who dare rise up against us. The shield generator holds strong to protect us while accessing the terminal, and the rest of the process goes smoothly. Not now, go away. Our push comes for the last objective. Get to the ICBM and launch it. And we arrive with little difficulty. Ooh, shiny. Actually, the real difficulty is who is going to be the first one to push the button. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to do it. No, I want to do it. <laughs> like they say, boys never grow up. We just get bigger toys and knock each other the fuck out. With the sequence started, we set up defense. And to be honest, nothing of note really happened. The fall of the last heavy base proves that orbital laser is still the best stratagem for removing a problem, and I prove that automatons are still too damn accurate with their rocket oh, launchers. Fuck me! Our mission is now completed, and we set forth for the extraction. Okay, so you may notice looking at the map, there was one small base left, but none of us saw it, so as far as I'm aware, it didn't exist, and you didn't see it. Arriving at the extraction point, all seemed calm. Then it wasn't. I go on the offensive with the Patriot to prevent some hulks pushing in further. Then it's revealed my attempt was futile because much like my parents, they dropped it all on our heads. And these devastators are still too fucking accurate. 30 seconds to go. They're closing in on us. We forgot about the mini nuke in the thief. Oh, mini nuke. You know what? I got zero kills from that. And I keep missing shots because I'm too good and the game is clearly nerfing me in real time. Wait, he lived? What? Finally, we hear the call of the right, dropship coming go. into land all and aboard. we all hit aboard. And like that, we're off this forsaken planet. And we make the realization we forgot to clear the last remaining base. We missed oh, one. Those one outpost? Shit, I thought we had them all. Oh well, I'm sure that won't be an issue. A massive automaton fleet has invaded Cyberstan and the surrounding systems. We achieve the goal that we set out to, uh, achieve. And our free mission campaign comes to an end against the automaton scum. Many Helldivers gave their lives. Countless automatons were converted to the religion of six feet under. And once again, democracy reigns supreme. Now if you'll excuse me, we're have some more planets to liberate. See you in the next one. Holy crap, you shouldn't have looked left. <laughs> I never looked left when I took to the road. Oh, I can't, I can't prone, I can't prone, I can't prone. Why can't I prone?